YouTube, it's my Smile Wow, and I'm coming with this video, um, I think I'm going to title it Icing Fail. So what I was trying to do is create a icing for the Bath Bomb Cupcakes that fizzed and bubbled at the same time. And so I added the baking soda and the citric acid to the mix of the, the topping the sugar meringue and all that whipped it together and then at the towards the end added the citric acid and the baking soda and the SLS to the mix and once I did that the texture got very weird so this is what I was hoping it would look like I was hoping it would come out detailed like that but instead when I put it in the piping bag and tried to pipe it it did this it's flat it doesn't hold any shape there's no detail to it so I was sitting there and I was like alright so what I have under here is a bath bomb um, heart shape base that I that I made maybe a month ago and it was extra so I just took the icing and just spooned it on the top here As you can tell it's it's hard and it was sitting overnight and I had some extra icing in the bag and I just kind of piped that on um, so when I first put this on, the icing kept getting bigger. As it was in the bowl waiting, it get it kept expanding. And I would go in, stir it, or use my hand and kind of push it down. Like right here, areas are flat for me, like pushing to get the air out of it. Because it, at one point, it covered the entire, like right there, front end. The whole bath bomb was covered with this growing icing. So, but I wanted to see what would happen. I didn't want to just throw it out. So I added it to this bath bomb, let it sit overnight. And I have a sink full of water that I'm going to toss this in and record what happens if it bubbles, if it fizzes, if it just does nothing. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so here's my water. And here's my bath bomb and it's a pretty big bath bomb it takes up you know half of the palm of my hand or more than half the palm of my hand and I just have a shallow thing of water here I'm just gonna toss it in and see what happens so of course the bath fizzy fizzes and okay so the icing is working it's breaking apart fairly easy it smells so good and there it goes it's moving it just okay so that's the icing part so it's melting really easy so that does work there's the heart all of the icing has melted so that's good to know so I think I'll try it again and let it sit for a little bit and pipe it into certain areas on the cupcake how I want it. Maybe not a swirl design, but maybe just like piping it out like that. Because I really like the effect. And here we got bubbles going now. So it does give me the desired effect that I want when it dries. So I'll have to camouflage that some kind of way. But that is exactly what I wanted it to do. So if you've ever tried this or are going to try it and the consistency doesn't look right, don't throw it out. You could even make um, just tops to put to the side and dry and you can add them to bath bombs later like that you want to attach it to without wasting it because it does work. And... Now let's run the water to see if we get bubbles. And we do get bubbles. So that's pretty cool. I think I'm going to keep working on it. And once I get it again, I will do the same thing, do a demo and see what happens. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.